Hi, uh, I'm I'm Takano from JMT of Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I used to be in India before, so I'm very happy to be here uh, today. I know Mumbai is in the heavily uh, heavy rain season now, but you see outside a uh, little bit sunny today. So we are kicking out rain today be because maybe because of this is good relationship between India and Japan. Am I right? Thank you. So before I start uh, my presentation, I want to ask you one thing. Have you been to Japan before? Yes. Oh, only few. So I will take you to Japan through this pro program today. So let me start. This is historical data of Japanese inbound and outbound. Uh, on 2015, number of visitors to Japan is nearly 20 billion. Uh, it is more than uh, five times, almost five times uh, compared to, to 2003 when we started visit Japan campaign. So inbound is very important for Japan economy now. As I told you, number of visitors to Japan. So uh, as I told you, total number of visitors to Japan is nearly 20 million, but uh, for Indian people, only 100,000 people. Mm. So we have big potential for Indian market. So I need your big count. Increasing interest in Japan as tourism destination. Do you know Japan ranked second in top 10 country of Lonely Planet based in travel 2016, and etc. So Japan is a very popular destination in the world now. Reason for the increase in inbound travelers. Number one, increasing interest in Japan as a destination. Number two, this is our effort, governmental initiatives. At first, uh, exemption and realization of visa requirement. This is for Indian people as well. Number two, extension of the data. And number three, acceleration and facilitation of immigration procedure. I saw long queue at the airport at uh, I mean immigration, but now less. Only maybe you can queue up about 15 minutes to 30 minutes only. This is our big effort. And the uh, continuous promotion, etc. Diverse chance of Japan. Number one, city life. This is night view of Tokyo. You can see this night view in Tokyo every night. Also, uh, you can enjoy shopping and fashion and cuisine in the city. Today, Mr. Tadokoro from Metro Tokyo is here. He will introduce about Tokyo later. And next. We have, do you know, uh, you know, uh, in Japan has own culture. Uh, of course, we don't wear kimono now, but you can try on me, kimono in Japan, uh, especially Kyoto and uh, Asakusa area. And uh, also, uh, you can, uh, you have, we have many uh, Japanese culture experience program. Let's try it. Next, the beauty of the countryside. Of course. A city is very convenient for us, but uh, uh, if you go to countryside, you can see this kind of nature view. Also, uh, you can see different view uh, by the each season, because we have four seasons. So this is uh, four seasons uh, photo. In spring, you can see uh, Sakura. I know Sakura is very popular for Indian people already. In summer, you can see uh, this kind of uh, green, uh, deep green and fireworks uh, festival sometimes. In winter, uh, you know this maybe, uh, you can see the red and the you green, know, very colorful and beautiful. In winter, you can see snow. Uh, even if you go to Tokyo, you can see snow once or twice a week. If you are uh, once or uh, twice a year, uh, we feel lucky. 
Yes, uh, next Japanese cuisine. I miss Japanese food already. I came here uh, only three days before, but I miss Japanese food very much. Of course, I love Indian meal as well. Uh, so, uh, sushi is very popular for you, uh, for Indian people also. But don't worry, you can try Japanese vegetarian food in Japan also. This, uh, next is affordable Japan. This is reasonable, reasonable Japan. I know you have some image. Japan is very expensive country and costly country. Actually, no. You see this? Uh, this is average cost of uh, three days summer trip for two person. Japan for the lunch only forty four dollar. This is two for two person. Dinner eighty seven US dollar. But for me, I spend only ten US dollar per night because they are. Nice uh, men and, uh, uh, and some, I mean, uh, hamburger and some uh, casual meal. So don't worry about spending money. And also, uh, changes in the number of beauty shop. Now, when you go to Japan, there are so many beauty free shops. So, the uh, number of beauty free shops has increased seven times over the past three and a half years. So you can go to beauty free shop not only at the airport but also in the city. So you don't need to pay tax now. Examples of uh, physical service development. Number one, transportation. Uh, for transportation system in Tokyo, it's very complicated for Japanese as well. So, but uh, uh, we are numbering uh, station number on each station now. So, if you know that station number, you can get, uh, you can go to your destination easily. And uh, also, we have a um, transportation route planning application in Japan. You can download on your mobile phone, and uh, you can search the uh, information how you can go to Tokyo Station from Naita Airport. Uh, you can go to Kyoto from Tokyo as well. So you can follow uh, this information. It's so very easy to go there. And uh, uh, there are so many ATM. Uh, you can drop money anywhere. Uh, over uh, more than 222,000 ATM, uh, ATM in Japan. So you can do all ATM accept your credit card and ATM card. So you can choose uh, your language. Uh, I'm sorry, there are no Hindi. <laughs> and uh, next, uh, hands-free travel. I know you are carry heavy luggage when you go to Japan because you are traveling one week, sometimes two weeks, sometimes one month. But you don't worry about it. You can uh, leave luggage at the uh, you can leave a luggage at this counter that you can pick up at your destination. For example, airport, and you can pick up same place if you have one day trip in Tokyo and the Kyoto area. So you don't worry about your heavy luggage. And next, uh, high speed tra transportation network. Number one, right. There are so many domestic flights, not only between from Tokyo to a local place, but also from local place to local place as well. So it's very convenient in Japan. Next, uh, railway network. As you know, last time Shinkansen is operated between Tokyo to Hakata in the uh, southern part of Kyushu area only. But uh, you can take Shinkansen when you go to Hokkaido now. And also Hokuriku Kanazawa area as well. So if you like railway travel, please take it. And luxury trains, we call set start train a train. This is like a cruise train, two days, uh, three days travel. I never tried it, I want to try it also. So let's try this also.
Yes, uh, this is our new target. International visitors on 2020, 40 million. On 2030, 60 million. I believe 10 million Indian people is there. And the next, I know uh, you have some uh, trouble uh, from your side to customer uh, about the visa, but uh, please make sure and uh, please, uh, make sure to provide this process. Number one, obtain required information. Number two, take a photo size 45 millimeter and 45 millimeter with white back, uh, white background. Uh, they don't accept blue color background and red color background. Also, complete application form and checklist. Uh, prepare supporting document. Number one, visa application. Number two, photograph. Number three, letter of guarantee. Number four, letter of reason for invitation. Number five, list of visa application. Number six, overview a company or organization and the itinerary schedule of the day. Then submit your application at the Japanese application center. Then you may collect your visa a uh, few days later. So please uh, inform customer carefully about this process. Yes, uh, this is our JNTO net overseas network. This is our head office and from here as of now, uh, we have only 14 offices in the world now. But within, uh, uh, as Kubaisa mentioned about our new office, we will establish office in another, uh, we will establish another second office in the world. Yes, uh, in New Delhi as well. So uh, we will uh, have more, so we will have more promotion in India. Uh, and uh, also, uh, let's work together to invade the series in Japan. And uh, maybe we will open office in New Delhi. And so if you have some questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you so much.
is always going to come true for Japan railways. This is the extensive uh, map of JR, the Shinkansen, that you can see, that you can visit. For the metros, you can see Tokyo have about 19 lines, but each is distinguished by its number and number of uh, the color itself. And additional 22 lines do connect Tokyo to the suburb areas. Then, about the bus and the airport transfers, now you got SIC uh, transfers over there, where, where the bus picks up from the hotel, takes you to Hamas station, and then you can go about for your daily trips. Uh, then you got intercity buses, which is cheaper than the Shinkansen. So for Shinkansen, about 15,000 yen. But intercity buses will cost about four to 6,000 yen. And you got Japan bus pass also, which is there, that you can use to travel in the world. But this Japan bus pass is only applicable on this particular company. Now from airport transfers, local taxis are expensive for 20,000 yen to be uh, one-way transfer fee uh, because the uh, Narita airport is 35 kilometers away from Tokyo. Now, shared limousine buses run from uh, airport to the city that you can take 3,600 yen and they mostly take, most of the hotels are 4 star, 5 star, 3 star are there on this limousine bus. Apart from that, you've got two trains coming in. Uh, from Tokyo to, uh, from the airport to the Tokyo. Now about the private bus. I understand that uh, uh, the, the private bus is similar to like a European bus over there as well. We've got a 12 hour uh, window of users. That's garage to garage. Only thing is the itinerary is pre-fixed. So if you need to change the itinerary, you need to let us know in advance. At least we need a one day notice to change the itinerary. However, we do not really suggest that, but uh, sometimes do happen to be to change by that uh, Usual itinerary, the bus arrives at 8 o'clock and then uh, the uh, entire tour starts for the day. The driver needs for 8 to 10 hours of sleep. So suppose you leave the driver at 10 o'clock in the night, to, then the next morning the bus would definitely come in today. It is quite law. Uh, you, keep, you need to keep the bus clean, otherwise uh, there are some charges involved for cleaning the bus. Uh, there's usually there's no tipping to the driver, but it's up to the driver to accept it. So uh, please be on time. As Japan is a small country, the bus parking is an issue. Like uh, from where to, so the bus will drop you at one point, pick you up from London, one point. So you need to be on time to pick you up for pickup, uh, and so to keep the itinerary in check. As well. So in this particular itinerary, seven o'clock is the dinner that you need to have. Seven seven thirty. So they can release the bus by eight thirty after. Uh, you go back to your hotel. Now this is how a normal taxi looks in Japan. It's very convenient to use. The GPS enable is always by meter and on it. The automatic doors which open. Limited luggage space. It's cheaper for short distances, especially for your local station to restaurant transfer and uh, restaurant to hotel transfer. This is a convenient mode even for groups. Uh, talking about the accommodation. The three type of accommodations, hotel, ryoka, and capsule. Uh, well, the Ryokan is a traditional one, uh, the capsule, hotel, I'll explain you later on. Now, uh, in Tokyo, there are a number of hotels, about 800, uh, and 430 hotels in Osaka. Economy uh, class hotel would be about 9 to 18 square meters, superior 18 to 24, and uh, dealers would be 20 to 45, while Ryokan would be 20 to 45 square meters. Check in time is about 1400 hours, 1500 hours. And check out time is usually between 10 to uh, 11. Uh, hotels, uh, you've got uh, luxury hotels at the Ritz Carlton, Four Seasons, and uh, Hayat as well over there. But domestic properties are there, uh, like Prince Hotel Jane, which are very good properties. While business hotels are a smaller, compact hotel, but we have all the luxuries of uh, uh, five star hotel as well, but only the size of the room will be smaller. Uh, this would be uh, Example would be Aba Hotel, which is 80 year ago in Japan. Ryokan is a traditional Japanese inn that you find in uh, outskirts of the cities. Mostly in Mapuri region, you get this program, this hotel, where you get your, you get your own set, the public bar that you can enjoy hot springs. And uh, in some hotels, you get private hot springs also for your rooms. But capsule hotel, suppose uh, this is a traditional Japanese capsule hotel where sometimes uh, you leave, uh, you get late and you miss the last train you use, uh, then you go and stay in this Japanese uh, capsule hotel. It's very small and that's what cost about 5,000 yen. Uh, sometimes
same as the Indian people want to experience that so they can live that way. They got a number of Japanese restaurants, you have a booklet with you which gives you veg cuisines as well. Then we got a number of Indian restaurants in Japan, in Tokyo I think we got 1200 of those. Okay. We got Italian, Chinese and other uh, restaurants as well, as fast food. Then important tourist information. It's very, it's very safe country. Uh, as you can see, we've got things happening in Europe, but Japan is completely safe. Uh, we got uh, police officer over here who are very helpful and uh, will be able to help with almost anything that we require. Ninety percent time, the passports and uh, anything that you get lost will be returned. Now, ATM cash withdrawal. Uh, a lot of Indian passengers do want to withdraw the use use the ATM in Japan. This is 7-Eleven. Is the only place that you can able your car will be able to work. And the 7-Eleven USD usually there on every nook and corner in Japan. Uh, apart from that, you can use the standard chartered ATM and city bank ATM over there. Now, about courier service, as takano san is saying, it's very unique to Japan. It's reliable and safe. You, you courier your luggage from one destination to another destination or to the airport as well. You need to have your reservation. Uh, you need to have a reservation at the hotel that you're sending. You need to have a reservation at the hotel. Now, Wi-Fi is all across the all across Japan. Most of the tourist spots you can purchase it also. We are trying to provide Wi-Fi enabled buses. Uh, all the hotels have it, most of them, and you can download this app also called Nami Time, which will help you in uh, communicating and uh, commuting and giving free Wi-Fi also. Now, let's. Uh, what are the destinations that you need to see for uh, planning for Japan Idea? Information for travel agents, very important one. Uh, for sending requests for a day after, like tomorrow if someone is arriving, coming, you need some time, there's a bit of gap, three and a half hour uh, gap is there. So please keep that in mind. Uh, we Usually uh, the next request is not entertained, but in some cases we do. Uh, please provide clear information. Like, what are the packs? What is the age of the packs? Because age of the packs is very important. Sometimes uh, senior people are coming, so uh, we'll give the sightseeing according to that. Uh, please provide the budget. The budget that you send, uh, we will be able to give you exact, exactly what we can offer. Uh, average time of delay is three, three, three days to one week, usually because of the confirmations from the vendors itself. Usually, uh, there is no bargaining in Japan. And uh, please book in advance for the peak sequence, at least two to three months in advance is much better preferred. Now, about the English speaking guide. In uh, India, we have learned English from uh, childhood, from maybe nursery and KG, but Japanese they have learned from the <coughs> ninth grade. So, our expectation of fluency of English uh, should be matched accordingly. They are quite fluent also. There's license and unlicensed and non licensed guide. Uh, guide and interpreters are different. Suppose you're going for technical reasons, the interpreters are required. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, if you want much more fluent Japanese speaking guide, then the price will be a little bit higher. But, uh, uh, the Indian clients, uh, everyone has to behave very properly with the client as well. Uh, because there is a technical labor over there. And uh, in peak seasons, the replacement of guide will be a little bit difficult. So, uh, you can always call the guide and check his tools in English. Uh, tipping is usually, uh, uh, we, it's not there, but it's up to the guide to accept it. Now, uh, how to save costs? Uh, book well in advance. Uh, use shared limousine for FID transfers. Use taxi for local station transfer, station to hotel, uh, hotel to restaurant. Uh, avoid early check-ins, because usually costs. Avoid last minute changes. Don't ask for FOC because usually the hotel will add the FOC cost in the quotation, in the cost that they will send to you. So it is much better that you can put at the end to get the final price. Uh, use local guide and lo uh, guide on local transportation, like some days in it. Just take a guide, uh, just travel around with the guide, it will cost you very less than that. Uh, various passes are available in JR Metro, and lunch is cheaper than the dinner. There's a unlimited dinner option with drinks for starting from 4500. Now, in terms of pay, the tax residency certificate and fees certificates the DMC will give you, in which case the RBI will give you permission to transfer without any deductions. Suppose a company has a subsidiary or a branch office in India, they then the global tax rules do apply. Uh, cancellation applies wherever it is. Uh, this last minute uh, changes to cost because of the transportation changes or the hotel weekend or weekdays remain such a thing. Uh, we need to follow the rules of the country, particularly in the manner of the bus. Because 
because uh, it's a earth earthquake prone country. The bus uh, leads to the high tree space and then the GPS, GPS enabled. So the entire movement is tracked. So 100% advance payment and refund is there. Uh, we have to do obviously. Okay. Uh, cities to visit in first visit. Uh, these are the islands that are there. Uh, the entire top is divided, and 40 prefectures are there in the city, in the country, which is things. Usually we do Tokyo in Hakone, uh, Kyoto, Osaka. We do Tokyo to Nara, Hiroshima, and then back from Osaka. And we go to Beijing. So Tokyo, uh, my colleague will be taking uh, the next presentation. He will be explaining much more detail about Tokyo. So I won't touch too much of it. Yokohama is the closest city. Uh, it's popular for modern fashion, shopping, nightlife, technology, and information. Day trips, you can do Mount Fuji, Nikko, Yokohama, and Alvito. So these are the four uh, Ginza for shopping, Yokohama for sightseeing, Asako for sightseeing, and Shibuya for sightseeing. Most popular for the night, not too many people live in Tokyo. Then you've got Mount Fuji, which is day trip from Tokyo. This is the beautiful site that you can experience over there. It's about 3,776 3, meters tall. It's world latest site. Uh, it's known for its uh, real plants of hot springs and wine making, food making, game crews and trekking bed. Uh, Hakone is this road case, only part of this uh, is working. There's a slave station, the crews and food picking bed. Kyoto is how it looks in autumn leaves in October time. But you can enjoy these views. It's the house, it's the old camp. It is, uh, you can see food tea and product of Tokyo. So, it's about, uh, uh, it has about more than 1,000 temples. Uh, sister city is Varanasi, uh, Prime Minister Modi also visited it over here. It has Isha dance, Chisarmi, traditional uh, homes, history and cultures that you can enjoy. It's the cultural capital of the country. These are the sites, Golden Pavilion, Kyoto is a better temple, Golden Pavilion temple. Closest city is Osaka from Kyoto. Again, Osaka is like Tokyo, it's competitive in nature, like Delhi, Mumbai. Uh, they do from Kyoto, Hiroshima, Kobe, Mount Koya, and Tokyo that you can do from Osaka. Universal Studio, Architecture, Aquarium, and Industrial Maintenance is there. Industrial visits are there. Uh, then you've got Osaka Castle, Umeda Sky Building, uh, Aquarium which is bigger than the Dubai Aquarium, and a beautiful nightlife as well. Hiroshima. From there you go to Hiroshima, and you've got Atomic Dome over there, August 6, 1945, uh, Atomic Dome was dropped over here. We've got a airport of 50 kilometers from there. You can do Miyajima Island from there and uh, a day trip from Kyoto Osaka is also possible. Then this is the Peace Museum. This is the Miyajima Shrine that we need to visit. Alpine, this is the new product that we are working with. My colleague uh, Shumi San will be taking care of the next uh, presentation. Uh, it's a very beautiful program. You use number of transport to do this. It's in 2015, it is, was uh, level from April 16 to November 30. However, the snow was there from April 16 to June 22. Uh, this snow looks without the snow, this snow looks with the snow, and this is the period of time. Now, the attractions that we'll be able to do in Japan tradition, geisha dance. Now, uh, I believe the uh, geisha are portrayed in the movies that we listen to, but uh, it's nothing like that. Uh, they are basically entertainers, they do the tea ceremony and the dance performances for you and uh, there are about 100 geishas in Japan. Uh, and to become a geisha you have to start from really strong, about 7 to 10 years old, become a geisha. Uh, sumo tournament, these are days that you can have sumo tournament and enjoy. Uh, entertainment for kids, you got Universal Studio, Disneyland, Animal Museum and uh, Sai Buku, the Halloween Museum as well. Then uh, Safari Park, Fujikyu Island, and Disney Sea is also, which is separate from Disneyland. Then, you can do Toyota, Honda, Mazda, Suzuki, and Sa. Jal Factory, also not Japsa, Japan Aeron Blue Space Association, Noodle Factory, and Whiskey, Wine, and all that factories that you can do with. Technology in Japan, where you can see the Asimo robot and uh, the Dome Theater, which is in this place called Raika, which is the space, uh, which is the innovation museum in Tokyo. Entertainment, you've got the robot show, the ninja show, uh, gamings, and a new show which is coming up. Dinner cruise that you're able to do shopping. I know a lot of people uh, love shopping in Japan, it's really good. 
uh, we got a uh, couple over there. Uh, but everything is tax free, 100 in shop, 24 hour shop, you get there completely. Where you also have to enjoy some premium uh, products. So we got premium discount options also over here in Japan. Things to do in Japan. Sword trading. That you can enjoy. So what is thing that we can arrange for you in private places for groups. FIT is also particularly good in T70 is available that we can do. T70 class or T70 is uh, particular that we want to enjoy with a t shirt that we can do that. Uh, Bandha making class, kimono wearing, uh, origami class. We have to assign to our service over 24 year old now, starting by the power. We do in Japan, the B2B. And uh, if you have any queries regarding Japan, you can do that as well. Uh, if you travel with us, we do give uh, training to particular companies if they require some. Thank you so much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ashwini Shurastav from Asahi Travel Service, the destination management company for Japan. In next 15 minutes or so, I will take you on a virtual ride to Japan, where we will cover the uh, Grand Japan tour with Tatayama Kurube Alpine Road plus Golden Road. So I request you to be with me, fasten your seatbelt, to enjoy the sights which are coming. Now the first thing is, how do we get there? These are some flight options, direct and some indirect. So direct option will take you around 8 hours from uh, Mumbai to Narita International Airport. And indirect option can take 10 to 14 hours based on the stopover in between. The look alike of Narita International Airport Terminal 1 when you arrive there at uh, Japan. So before we go on to the actual ride, I would like you to take a glance of what we are doing in next 10, 9, 11 days. Then uh, Hakone, Nagano, Takayama, Nagoya, Hiroshima, then last three nights at Kosaka. So imagine that you are coming out from the airport after completing all the airport formalities, the packages are in your hand. You will find Asahi travel representative waiting there with your name plant at the arrival hall. He will guide you to a particular area where a course would be waiting for you. We have arranged some uh, good kind of transport for you for taking you from Narita International Airport to hotel in Tokyo City Centre. The distance is some 76 kilometers and will take some 2 to 2 and a half hours based on the traffic at that particular point. This is the actual picture of the coach that we use. 45 to 49 seater big coach and 12 to 15 seater small coach. Outside and uh, inside you the coach. Now by the time we reach there, at our hotel, it would be around 4.35 o'clock if we take afternoon arrivals to avoid early check-ins. So at that time, we'll greet you with uh, high tea at the reception area. We'll hand over the keys and allow some time to check-in and relax. This evening, we'll pick you up for your uh, Indian dinner. Welcome dinner at Maharaja Srinagawa. We always take care of uh, selection in our restaurants. It should be good so that you don't miss your food away from your home. For normal groups, we do give this kind of dinner option in different restaurants based on the group size. For mice, we can do it welcome dinner at cruise or at some exclusive places where we can arrange some kind of shows, some musical event, DJ, anything that you require at that particular day on the first day. Post that dinner, we have an option to go for a nightlife, like some club or shows, or we can get back to our hotel relax and recoup for the next day. These are the hotel options that we have selected just to showcase you, though we have a lot of hotel in 5 star, 4 star and 3 star categories and that can be chosen depending on your budget and the availability. Overnight, day 2. Now this is the most important day because we are getting one full day for Tokyo City to meet. We are starting our tour from Asakusa Canyon Temple in the morning. So say around 9 o'clock we start from Asakusa Canyon Temple. First, Asakusa Canyon Temple with Nakama Street for some souvenir shopping. 
Then we'll stop at Imperial Palaces Garden. We'll keep on driving towards Odaiba. Lunch will be served at Kazana Odaiba restaurant. Then sometime for Toyota Mega Bell, so that you get to see the different models. They uh, kept since its inception of cars. Sometime at Statue of Liberty and Odaiba again. This evening you will be picked in that particular cruise, cruise this type of cruise from Odaiba Pier to Hinode Pier. And in this evening we'll uh, let you be there at the observation deck of Tokyo Tower, 150 meter, to showcase the illumination of Tokyo. Again, post the dinner would be at Indian restaurant, and you are free to go for some kind of shopping or enjoy some kind of shows within the cosmopolitan city of Tokyo. If you are going out for shop, shopping or shows, you can come by by your own, or we will take you back to your hotel post the uh, dinner menu. Relax and recoup for the next day. Now day 3, Mount Fuji and Hakone. We are checking out from Tokyo and driving towards Mount Fuji. Our first stop would be Mount Fuji 5th Station. The driving distance from Tokyo city centre to Mount Fuji 5th Station would be around 2 to 1 half hours based on traffic condition. So we have to be early to cover all the places on that particular day. So we are driving this distance by bus. So first, Mount Fuji. This is the fifth station look alike. We'll have lunch somewhere, Indian restaurant. Gotemba India is the place where we will arrange uh, lunch for you. Then we'll go to Oakodani Valley by this roadway. Then we'll spend some time in this cruise pirate cruise in Lake Ashi. Some time for premium shopping at Gotemba shopping outlet. And we'll drop you to your hotel in Hakone region to enjoy the hot spring. The onsen, enjoy the culture and your time. Dinner would be arranged inside the hotel so that you can come and enjoy dinner at your own convenience in time. Bed option is available because the food kind will be at Japanese. Overnight at this hotel. Now next, next day, day 4. We'll start our journey from Hakone Hotel towards the Alps. So we'll be passing this kind of scenic road from Hakone to the Nagano, that would be our first stop for lunch, would be around 3 hours to 4 hours journey based on the road condition and the traffic. So first we'll stop at Matsumoto Castle post our lunch. Then we'll go to see the this temple, Zenkozi temple, the Buddhist temple. We'll check in our hotel in Nagano. These are the options available there. Can be chosen as per the requirement. Overnight at this hotel. Day 5, Alpine Loop. The most important site that we are promoting nowadays and getting a lot of inquiries for this particular route. We are starting our tour from Ogizawa and covering the entire place through some of the transportation that they are uh, offering. This particular route is, uh, opens from the second week of April and available till last week of November. And the best time to go there to see the snow is still first week of June. From April, second week till first week of June. You will get to snow, see the frozen dam, the uh, 50 feet wall there. But after that, it is also seen. I'll showcase some sites. So, this is the kind of electric bus that we take from Ogizawa to Kurube Dam. This is Kurube Dam. Another form of transport to next place, ropeway. This is the actual look and feel of the particular route called Alpine Route that is there till the second week of June every year from April. And post that it looked like this, same route. Completing, after completing all the tours, we can come back and we will check in at the hotel for, uh, these are the most hotel option available, but the location would be Tatayama. Relax and go for the next day. Now day 6, Nagoya. We are leaving Alps and going towards city. Our first stop would be at market, morning market Takayama. We'll again drive. We'll stay, stop at Shirakawago World Heritage Site where they will showcase the culture, the ancient culture of Japan with 400 year old, uh, this type of huts are available. So you will spend some time there understanding the culture. We'll drive towards Nagoya. We'll have lunch. Post lunch, we'll take you to SC Maglio Shinkansen Museum where you get to see the simulator ride, the technology and everything behind the uh, Shinkansen trains and all its history there. Dinner and post dinner will uh, overnight at Nagoya Hotel. These are the options available that we have selected. 
next day is day 7. We are checking out from Nagoya and we are driving towards Hiroshima. So this day we are taking first time bullet train in, in the entire right valley, that is on day 7. So we will be using the transport service, that is courier service. So we are sending all our luggage to courier to our next destination and we will travel light in Sankansen. We are sending all the luggage to the next hotel so that we are travel line. This is the actual, actual, actual picture of Shinkansen. From Nagoya to Hiroshima, is, the distance is 484 km and will take 2 hours and, 30 minute, 2 hour and 39 minutes to cover this distance. Average speed some 300 to 320 km per hour. Okay, post arrival in Hiroshima, first we will go to Miyazima Island. We will cover the distance from uh, Hiroshima to Miyazima Island by this ferry. The distance is, the duration is 10 to 15 minutes only. We'll get to see the look and feel of Miyazima Island like this. This is in Tsukushima Shrine and Tori. We'll spend some time there. We'll come back to Hiroshima again. We'll have lunch and go to Peace Park where we'll get to see the history and all the things, all the stories that we keep on listening for this particular uh, area. The bombing happened on 6 August 1945 during the Second World War. So everything is there. Post that, we have an option to come back to the hotel or stay there in the city for some shopping because we have some two hours spare before we go for our dinner. Dinner would be served at the Indian restaurant, then we'll uh, take you back to the hotel, relax and we'll go for the next day. Now, day 8. We are checking out from Hiroshima and coming towards Osaka. We are covering this particular route by road so that we can showcase you the Kurashiki Canal town, the town that is connected to the canal and it is, uh, the canal is connected to every room, every store of this particular place, Kurashiki Canal town. Next stop would be at Kobe, we'll have lunch there at Kobe, we'll uh, take you to this particular earthquake museum that is a simulation of 1995 Great Hanshinawaji earthquake. They will uh, showcase the look and feel of everything. They will showcase the technology that now they are making buildings so that they can fight with earthquake and everything. We will keep on driving towards Osaka. In this evening, we will take you to the sky building to see the illumination from this uh, observatory there. Dinner at an Indian restaurant and then relax and eat for the night. We will stay at Osaka. These are the hotel options available. And Osaka is the second biggest cosmopolitan city after Tokyo. So you will have nightlife options open here, shows open here. So you can roam around and come back to the by your home or you can drop you back to your hotel based on your requirement. Day 9, Kyoto City Group. So now we are basing at the Osaka Hotel only. We are not checking out. We are going to see the culture and heritage of the town called Kyoto. First we are starting from Nara. This is the outside view of the temple, Nara Kodaji temple. Inside view of the golden statue of Buddha. We'll spend some time here in Nara Diopa. Lunch would be at Nara only, join the restaurant. Then we'll drive you towards Kyoto. First stop would be at Kiyomajudura temple. Next stop would be at Kintagaji temple, the golden pavilion. And this evening we are arranging some kind of shows cultural experience starting from peace ceremony, the Misha dance show, and the Zen dining, the cultural Japanese dinner, vegetarian options are there. We'll take you back to Osaka. Again, options are open for you to roam around or come back to Japan. Last day, we are taking you to Bamboo Group. First stop would be the Tenyuji Temple, the outside view of the steeple. Then Sagano Bamboo Group. Half a day, we'll come back to Osaka, we'll have lunch in, in the city and half a day free for shopping. Or you have an option to go for Kaiken Museum, Osaka Castle, other, other option available within the city. <coughs> this is the departure day, bring your sweet memories back and send a lot of guests so that we can host them there and look after their requirement. Thank you very much.
my very first visit to Credible India and to Bombay as well. And uh, frankly speaking, uh, Tokyo has been doing no promotions in India yet. But uh, like JNTO said before, we are feeling great potentiality to this market. And along with JNTO, we are doing what we are uh, uh, feeling to do more and more promotions in this market in the future, I mean, in the near future. So for me, this joining this event is just like a kickoff for uh, Tokyo's promotions in India. And uh, my time is like a 20 minutes, I think, but it's very short, and I cannot tell everything about Tokyo at that 20 minutes. But uh, the topic is learn more about Tokyo. So uh, I will show you Tokyo with uh, less vocabularies and more uh, photos and videos. history of Tokyo, we would like to show the attractiveness of Tokyo based on the sense of beauty cultivated by Tokyo people. It is called Iki. Edo has been at the... Tokyo was called Edo, and Edo has been at the center of politics and culture in Japan since the beginning of the 17th century. Samurai residences and temples were built surrounding Edo Castle, and the city spread greatly. And in the 18th century, Edo developed into the world of the world mega cities. And this is Kabuki, the theatrical performance that is unique to Japan, became popular during this period. And today, Kabuki can be enjoyed at Kabukiza in Tokyo. This grand tournament of Japanese wrestling also started in the Edo period, and this is one of the cultural practices that typifies Japan. Japanese food that is well known became popular during this time as well. custom to enjoy events of the four seasons also released this aesthetic and people still do the same today. 
In spring, people enjoy halami, viewing the cherry blossoms that bloom for only a short period of time. And in summer, people enjoy watching fireworks around rivers. In autumn, festivals are held at shrines and temples. And in winter, people celebrate the new year by going to the shrine. Time passed, and Edo changed its name to Tokyo, meaning Eastern Capital, and became the capital of Japan in name and reality. Now, not only is Tokyo the capital of Japan, but it has also become as one of the world leading cities. Even in the highly modernized Tokyo, the sense of beauty, Iki, still continues for people's lifestyles and the atmosphere of the city. For example, there are beautiful streetscapes and environment that enriches people's lives. A convenient and safe transportation system can take you almost anywhere in Tokyo. Or furthermore, an optimal system that include these police boxes provides safety and security for residents and visitors alike. You can enjoy all kinds of Japanese food in Tokyo. And there are many Japanese food that were originally from other countries and rearranged for the Japanese palate, such as cutlet, ramen, and Japanese-style pasta, and curry too. You can also enjoy good quality food from all over the world in Tokyo. The spirit can be found in our culture and architecture today, and has also spread to pop culture. Some new aspects that represent contemporary Tokyo are like anime, manga, fashion, and music, with a fanatical worldwide following. Iki, the sense of beauty was born a few hundreds ago and spread to all parts of Tokyo even today and attractively decorated Tokyo. In 2020, we will stage the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Tokyo will continue to change every day with traditions and modernity to stay attractive. Iki is the spirit of Tokyo that we never lose. Tokyo is packed with the essence of Japan. There is always something to see year-round. This includes not only modern events, but also traditional festivals that have been celebrated for several generations. Some people think Tokyo is similar to Hong Kong or Singapore, a big modern mega city, I mean, but it's totally different. If you want to take an unforgettable trip, Tokyo is the place to go. So now, I would like to give you three reasons why Tokyo makes a wonderful tourist destination for your clients. The first reason is this. There are many Indian residents in Tokyo. If you search the restaurant review site in Japan, you can find over 1,200 Indian restaurants citywide. That means that you can find Indian restaurants all over Tokyo. Well, for example, near my office, well, in walking distance, there are four or five Indian restaurants. And this is one of them. I think 
you cannot read Japanese, but it is in Taj Mahal. I bet that there are many Taj Mahals in the world wide. And this is one of them. Just for that. The second reason is that Tokyo is a shopper's heaven. Any kind of shopping is are available in many price ranges offering shoppers a variety of choices. Well, let's look at Don Quixote, a discount store that is popular not only among Japanese people, but also with tourists.
this is the uh, end of the first part of my presentation. Hope oh, you're not bored. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But uh, we like to go to intermission. Well, uh, it's quiz time. And just one quiz. Very simple. It's easy quiz. Is there anything wrong? <coughs> Tell me what is wrong. And tell me what should be there. Well, I'll show you a photo. And there is something wrong. Uh, if you have been to Tokyo before, I guess nobody will miss this. But, and <coughs> so, uh, I mean, uh, tell me what is wrong. And tell me what is what should be there. You have to answer these two things and it will be correct. Okay? And for the one who had the correct answers, I brought you uh, some uh, small present. Well, it's a uh, Japanese sweets. So can I go to the question? Okay.
transit flights or something like that, you can come into Haneda Airport, which is uh, relatively close to this uh, city center.
And Tokyo logo, we have five colors. It links to Tokyo's five old boundaries. And why N is that we make we like a unique N Tokyo and excellent N Tokyo. And we use that kind of phrase for all promotion. That is why uh, we have N before Tokyo. So uh, kids watch. We have made since uh, just during our uh, room last year. We have made a couple of promotional videos, mm -hmm. and I would like to show you one of those videos here before ending up my presentation.